A bunch of my videos private because I just look, who look, cares? I don't care. Fuck is going on. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, All right, cut. It's Wednesday. I ended up getting a uh, beer donation in, if you can believe it or not. Beer donation? Actually, it's got Gary. He's a real cool guy. He lives in Houston. And uh, he, uh, I think his name is Deathmine. What is, that, what is his YouTube ID? <coughs> 20 bucks. They wanted me to. I'm going to send him a letter and I'm going to make a. I have a whole. Man, I saved a lot of cans. Old cans from West Texas. I'm gonna use this whole soup can and make a figure in this mail to him. He's a cool guy. I enjoy talking to him. So yeah, another beer donation for twenty dollars. Man, can you believe that? Right now, it's critical juncture. That you see the weather's getting. It's kind of an overcast. It's been a really strange effing summer. It's like it's not even summer. It's like May and it's this cool right now. I don't know. Here it is. I don't know if y'all can see it. With all the flies and everything. This is a, this is turning out pretty good. See, I, you know, <clears throat> the reality is, is that I have to fucking get out. I have to to stop everything. You know, they're all coming together. I have to stop using the canvas, just traditional painting, and just do this this kind of stuff. There's that one. Still working on it. And I got these other. These are, I'm gonna put some other female figures on here. This girl named Monica. I'm gonna like uh, do some shit about her. The snake one up there. Mm, oh yeah, you know Red. I've been emailing Red a lot. He's not responding to my email as much, and so he. I told him about what I was up to, and that you know I actually got a, a lead to Slayton. And uh, wait till that if that goes through, uh, it came out, it came to pass. I could, I could you know it's been two years. It's time for me to do something. I gotta you know, Van Moose go out for, go out of here for a while, and. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Red said that he's just he's done, and uh, he hadn't posted nothing in a while, so he might just have to get a job and quit this whole ordeal. Which gives me total permission to basically create my new Red Mud Texas artwork, and it's, I like doing this. It's actually really easy. There's no thinking involved. It's just all gesture and splashy shit all over the place. You know, it's just. Uh, you know, like this is definitely a, I call this one a red mud inspired painting. You know, it's a, it's a gesture of like, it's gonna have a little guy's head right here and he's gonna be holding a dart. He's gonna be chunking a dart. And it'll be, of course the dart board's above his head and it'll be darts up here. It'll be like a fly or something. Throwing darts at flies. I had, yeah, I kinda came up with the idea of throwing daggers at crows. I just didn't think that was really interesting enough. So I said I'm gonna do throwing darts at flies. I told Red about that, throwing daggers at crows. He even sang some songs about it. But yeah. So that, let me think what else is there. Oh, I guess the weather's going to be getting weird. My air conditioner died on me. My table saw. Fuck. Fuck this shit. It is going to... I can tell. I can tell. I like, you know, the sunflowers are coming up like crazy. It reminds me of the kudzu. You know, you don't get that in Texas much. It's like, I like these leaves and stuff. Might be the south. Mm. See, I don't recognize that. That's supposed to be red mud. <clears throat> red mud. I'm gonna put this little sign in there. See, look at this. Welcome to my art show. Most of all these, of all this artwork can be understood by viewing and subbing to my videos on YouTube. Chicken George 1236 YouTube ID. Yes, sir. Having a little, little cookout today. Check it out, guys. It's fair for lunch. But, you know, I never, I always worry I don't make enough food. I always worry about the quality. I got this little backup grill over here. This is my whole second one. These guys going at 300. Turkey legs, chicken. So this was a big benefit barbecue we had, or a little benefit. It was a kind of a fundraiser for uh, one of our roommates. <clears throat> She's uh, displaying her artwork on the front of our lawn here. And some people came out, held signs, trying to get people to pull over and buy a barbecue plate. I think everyone there is all run by these ladies. You can see Rick Reed right there. And uh, I think about $400 was spent on everything. People donated stuff. And then they made about three or 400 bucks. 
it was just a fiasco trying to pull everything together and make it work. We had actually a lot of chicken, uh, some sausages, turkey legs, homemade mashed potatoes. There was a lot of food there. Beans, you know. I sat out there and smoked at it. It rained that morning that I ended up smoking till about four o'clock and I ended up drinking like I don't know how many Modellas. A splitting headache by about six. I just fucking went there and collapsed. I just couldn't do it anymore. Your old Fred. But it was, it was a pretty fun event. Typical Sunday in San Marcos. I thought about actually just setting up. You know, the fence is going to get moved back. The city's moving that fence back practically where the pecan tree is. So it's going to kind of suck. In August, they're going to start in August. Okay, now this is over. Now we're. This is some uh, show. This is the uh, show at uh, Joe and the Go. And there's Red's Pieces. So yeah, it's called Sign Red Mud, Texas. Two guys talk about the two headed cobra rattlesnake. And then here's the, the Underwood piece, double fail, the double monkeys, and I think it's just two reds on a little puppet string. <laughs> and there's this, I don't, I don't really know what the hell I'm at with. This is a regular, there's a bear holding a little monkey next to the coffee condiments. And there's Patty Man. I think that's actually, I made that in 2006. And then there's that sign there, uh, which I read earlier. I don't know if I'll get any subscribers. Now, this piece already sold, technically. I went in there this afternoon. They said, how much do you want for that? And then this is what Winnie looks like, Red. And there's old Red. He's on a little footstool. And he's clapping the devil's little puppets. And there's Red in a jail. Because he's the biggest hater out there, you know. And, you know, it's a, the little wolf character's got a golden key. And then there's, oh, uh, yeah, show me my swap. Put that in there just temporarily. See what that was like. This is, you know, this this place, Joe and the Goat, has been around. I think I've showed there off and on over the last, shit, 12 years. It was a back wall with tons of photos of all the people. It's like almost like a social topography of all the coffee goers over the last, you know, like over decades. So there was a little, someone did a sketch of me, and it got published in this uh, magazine. And uh, there's like there's one more photo I blow in here. When I'm, I think I was weighed 180 at one point. Where is that? Yeah, right there. It like, looked like your typical coffee geek hanging out. But yeah, Joe and the Go is a cool place. I've always liked Joe and the Go. And, uh, I was making uh, eBay updates in the style of... Alright, Red. Red, you see how it's all coming together? Huh, Red? It's coming together. Piece by piece. So I'm going to go there to the uh, coffee shop every day. And I'm going to start recording people. Telling them who the real Red Mud Painter is. From Texas. And, uh, what? Okay. You see, uh, <clears throat> also, you know, that Joe and the Go show, there's a link down at the bottom of this video that I'm gonna like, uh, put the City of Chickens on there. I'm still kind of hungover from yesterday, but, uh, uh, so, um, there's a link to the city of chickens, and in the, in the when that when that video came out, uh, hold on a second, I'm just gonna fucking walk over here. When that video came out, the city of chickens video, it was a '99, I think. I shot in I was shot in September 1999 on the front of Joe and the Co. I think I weighed 180 pounds. So, so yeah, Red. You guys can see, uh, that's actually the first YouTube video I ever put out there. I was really blown away. I love that, I love that video, uh, City of Chickens. Still gonna hold true one day. One day I'll make the City of Chickens.